Hello and welcome. I'm Daphne O'Neill, and this is Expressions. There are, of course, thousands of ways to create expressions of the self. At the extremes are tears of joy and of pain. And there are those expressions of the day-to-day -day things that help make a difference in who we are and what is important to us. We at KMTP make such expressions every day and every hour. Through such programs as Classic Arts Showcase, we express to you the value of music, ballet, film, and art. Art is an expression of the self. The artist uses her imagination to express her feelings, thoughts, ideas, her very soul. In our day-to-day -day world, we may acknowledge only manifestations of the physical. At KMTP, we're here to provide a television venue for artistic expression because it's of value to you and to us. Because we want to make a difference, we're proud to offer you the daily easy access to art. Though each of us may be artistically inclined in some way, to the artist, the expression of the self is the very essence of life. To the artist, art is life. So today, we ask you to express your life by making a difference. Support KMTP so that we can continue to support the arts. Make a difference. Express your support. Contribute to KMTP and let us express our support for your support. With your contribution, KMTP will provide you with this art expression. Express yourself and make a difference. Today we're talking with Bay Area local artist Jen Locke. Welcome, Jen. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming. Um, as I understand it, art has been a part of your life from as, for as long as you can remember. Mm, Is yes, that right? Absolutely. Um, and in 2006, you got serious about making a living through art. And so with the support of your community, actually in just last month, you quit your day job, is that right? That's correct. That's a huge step, I know, for any artist. You were working in the mortgage industry, mm -hmm. and now you're spending your entire day painting, drawing, and creating in, in whatever way seems fit at the moment. Is that right? That's correct. It's very exciting. We see that your work is inspired by nature. Mm -hmm. It's bright, colorful, and full of life. And also, in addition to creating art, you also teach workshops and creativity, and as well as just straight art classes. Yes. Wonderful. It's just so exciting to have you, you here. We're so grateful that you came. Your work is so beautiful. Can you talk to us a little bit about some of the pieces we have here? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, this one was inspired by, it's a willow tree, but I was looking up at it in the sun and was thinking, well, how neat would it be if the willows were gold? Oh, interesting. So that's a, your take on the yes. willow tree. This yes. kind of reminds me a little bit of some Van Gogh that I've seen. So <laughs> I love Van Gogh. Very exciting. And I don't know if the camera can pick up the, the detail in the, the brushwork with the acrylic mm -hmm. at the top, especially. It's and very dynamic. Uh, with these are acrylic gels, and the brushwork is actually toothpick work. I get these textures with a toothpick. Oh, that's exciting. So is yes. it just, it sounds really labor intensive. Mm -hmm. I guess uh, it is, and I, I have to be pretty quick with it. The gels set up. Uh, fast, so I have maybe 10, 15 minutes before it turns to it turns hard. I do the whole piece at once so that it's it's even. Okay. I just go in with a plan. I usually start everything with watercolors, and then I work with just traditional acrylic, and then I move into the gels when once I have what I want to do in mind because I need to move quick. So what inspired you to create this painting? Uh, this was another one of my hikes through Sycamore Grove at sunset um, in the spring where there's actually little buds happening. So I call this March Trees Dancing. And that's really what it looks like. Yes. <laughs> so Jen has donated this wonderful piece of art to KMTP. And now you have the opportunity to own this piece of art by pledging at our premium level, $500. Call us now at 415-777-3232, or you can go to www.kmtp.tv to make that pledge. Don't forget to mention the name of our artist, Jen Locke, and we'll be happy to reward you with this wonderful piece of art. So what is your day usually like as an artist? 
Well, when I get to be an artist every day, <laughs> <laughs> um, I usually, I have it pretty planned out. I can't just sit in my studio and paint every single day, so I have a designated day where I'm actually doing paint on canvas, and that's usually a Monday for me. So I'm sitting there, I, and I already know what I want to work on. Um, and so I get to get up in the morning. I usually set my alarm, but I'm up at least an hour beforehand because I'm excited <laughs> to get to do it all day. <laughs> so, and I usually start out with, um, with my watercolors just to get warmed up into the day. I feel a little bit more comfortable. I've painted watercolor since I was five. So I get into the watercolor and then I, um, while I have a few pieces going, um, I'm letting them dry and I move into the acrylic. And then I usually finish my day off into my gels, which, which are very fun to do. So I, I always end the day on a happy note. Oh, that's exciting. Yes, yes it is. And then I, um, then I usually try, out, try to go do something social. Art sometimes can be very isolating. So I make sure at the end of the day um, I'm spending time with my family or friends or make a phone call, uh, catch up with people on Facebook if I, if I can't leave. Um, so, and then the following day on a Tuesday, I usually um, plan to do more administrative, the, the less fun part of art, which is the marketing of myself and the business end of it and making contacts to get my art out there. Um, and then I usually like to get the next day back into art. So I try to switch that up back and forth so that um, I'm creating opportunities to showcase my work along with actually getting to do the work. So it sounds like you really have a balanced, I think, maybe you're coming from your business background. I'm coming from the business yeah. background, and I've also been doing art part-time for uh, a couple of years. Mm -hmm. So, And I just find it easier now to do the business end of it, now that I don't have to do business all day. <laughs> right, exactly. Because I would, I would work all day at the day job, and then I'd fit in time to do my art. And, right, exactly. and then you have to have time for your friends and family, and it just seemed like I never had enough time. So I'm, I'm giving, you know, financially I can do this for a year. Um, I'm planning on teaching regularly in the fall and having regular students um, it, it, along with selling my work. 